Hi YouTube, I just wanted to give you a update on a project that I've been working on. I kind of put it on hold for a long while, but I finally got around to doing it. Basically, if you know my site, I'm obsessed with music and, and whatnot, as well as video games. But um, So basically what I got is this chip from uh, Texas Instruments right in here, and it is a TPA3122D2. And that is a dual stereo Class D amplifier, 15 watts per channel in that tiny little dip package, which is perfect for prototyping. And basically, it actually sounds pretty good. I just um, wired this up according to the app note, and on this little piece of proto board here, and that's pretty much it. And so I just wanted to show you along with my um, desktop stereo project that I'm working on that I uh, built out of um, you know some scrap MDF that I had and some speakers that I found and so I only completed one unit but um, that's sufficient to um, show you guys its operation I'm running this off of a uh, DC wall warp only about 12 volts so uh, because my input filter caps are only rated for 16 volts so I can't go much higher than that so at very high volumes it does clip but um, that actually wouldn't be much of an issue if I uh, replaced the uh, supply uh, decoupling caps and got a bigger uh, power brick. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick demo of uh, this working. I have this hooked up to my Sansa clip here. And so... So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little demo of that. Um, I just thought it's it's amazing. Um, this chip barely gets warm to the finger touch, um, as opposed to Class AB, uh, which would require a, a fairly substantial heat sink to cool it. This requires no heat sink, uh, just some decoupling, um, you know, AC uh, uh, decoupling on the output, and um, some inductors in there, and as well as some, you know small decoupling caps on the output. Um, other than that, it works perfectly. I mean, um, one problem that I did run into originally, um, you really should use shielded wiring, um, like coax wiring or even shielded um, for your interconnections for audio, otherwise you're going to get hum, uh, 60 hertz hum and stray uh, hum, but as you can hear, nothing. <laughs> So um, that that's one of the problems I was having. Um, basically, I wired in a um, little header uh, switch in here where you can put um, little shunts so that you can change the uh, the gain. And this little guy in here is just for uh, shutdown control. So I plan on integrating this with the microprocessor, a digital volume control, and making my own, you know, shelf. Uh, you know, music system that's all digital and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, update you guys. I gotta finish up this second speaker enclosure, and I gotta finish up this. Um, thinking of maybe adding a, a port, and also I need to uh, put some foam surrounds on this uh, speaker because it rattles slightly, depending on the frequency, which is a little bit annoying. But I gotta get that done. Gotta get it all painted up, looking nice and pretty. But so far, not too bad. I made this um, entirely using hand tools, uh, so all in all, it's sounding pretty good, so uh, I guess I'll see you guys later after I have something else to update, but uh, let it roll. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.